So I like to make dapples varying sizes. Then after I spray a layer of sealer on, I'll go back and highlight certain areas to make them darker. You can kind of see where I started doing that on this side. Um, I'll tell you though, it makes me a little nervous doing that before this layer has been sealed because if I make a mistake, like you can see where I did here and I got a little spidering because I got too close, then I lose the layer underneath. So I like to do nice even color on this layer of varying sizes. Let that dry and seal it and then come back and we'll do that in the next video. But this one I'm just going to show you how I do these dapples. And this is a fairly light layer. Um, you can come back and darken it up after you put on a layer of sealer. That way you're protected if you make any mistakes. And I make a lot. so. I like to protect myself so I don't have to completely redo my paint job. I can erase little mistakes if I have a layer of sealer between what I'm putting on and what I'm taking off. For example, see I'll just put on a few little dapples here and if I don't like the shape of those I can take a damp q-tip and take those off without removing the layer of paint underneath because it's been sealed. You can just kind of dab at it so you get a nice even layer. This guy is really heavy, so I'm going to set his foot down on the table here so that you can see what I'm doing and my arm's not shaking. You want your dapples to be sort of irregular. Some are oval, some are a little more triangular, some are tiny, some are big. If you look at dapples on real horses, they're all different sizes. I mean, you don't have, you know, something like dinner plates and then little tiny dapples, but you do have um, somewhat of a variation in size. And right now, this looks like what we like to call chain link dapples. Um, but the next layer where we highlight and darken some areas, uh, you'll see how it works out that it'll have a, a lot more variation than what you're seeing here. Now what I like to do in the stomach area is make much larger dapples so it gives the impression that the horse's skin is actually stretched and horses have this amazingly loose elastic skin that allows for all the movement that they can do. They have lots of nifty little wrinkles behind their elbows and loose skin in their flanks that allows for their legs to move for their long strides. And so I like to make sort of big, loopy, loose dappling in the tummy area and real light, just a suggestion, real faint, real soft, subtle. 
it's amazing what your eye can see even if it's just a suggestion Add a little shading here just along the hip edge and that'll help blend the dappling in. Okay, that's almost seven minutes so we're gonna stop with that.